I suppose uh, we could start off with with yourself. Uh, you know how long you've been doing trigenics and how it's impacted your practice and in your life, and uh, and then maybe a case study after that. Okay, sounds good. Okay, well, first I've been in practice for 38 years, and uh, we've always done a lot of extremity work. We would do just general manipulation of the extremities, and it's been about four years now that I took the first class. Um, with Dr. Uh, Allen, uh, where he did the shoulder and did the knee. Well, immediately the knee uh, was easier for me to, to master, so I came back and started implementing uh, the knee the very next week on patients who were having difficulty because most of my practice was more of a uh, classic chiropractic practice, people with low back, leg pain. Uh, that whole lower extremity. So we started with the uh, simple moves of the uh, popliteus uh, and then the, the front doing the patella tendon. And without immediately, I had patients that were able to stand up, uh, bend their knees, walk better, and it was kind of like a, a miracle. I mean, I had patients that I've been treating, doing other uh, techniques and therapies and, you know, they would respond a little bit, but nothing like this. And I had patients, you know, just say, this is an absolute miracle. And I can't even begin to tell you the number of patients that we've attracted with knee pain. I've had patients who were in wheelchairs that with just one treatment, Pete, they were able to stand up, bend their knees, and walk. Now, they weren't walking perfectly, but they were able to walk. I had... Uh, one gentleman who has done a lot of testimonials for us, he was uh, grossly overweight, came to me with on, a, on a crutches with knee pain. And he was so bad, we couldn't even lay him down on the table to do the technique appropriately, like Dr. Allen teaches. So I had him just stand up because he couldn't lay. He stood up, and I just worked the uh, trigenics maneuver on the back of his knee standing. For three days in a row, and each time he gets we could bend a little more, get to bend a little more, to finally he was able to walk. With that, it took us about a week. He was able to walk without the crutches, and we were able to put him back on the uh, table, prone and supine, to do the complete treatment. And he is—he uh, sent me lots of patients. Um, it's just it's just a miracle. So. Um, it, it's absolutely, I, I can't even begin to tell you um, when patients come in, it gives you give you a confidence. I mean, you can almost, after you've done this a while, as long as I have, when somebody comes in with knee pain, you, you can almost tell them, you know, guarantee that this is going to be, you know, life-changing. It's going to be a miracle and when they stand up. They say, oh, my God, I can't believe how much better that I can, you know, bend my knees and move. So it's pretty impressive. So you're obviously charging a higher case fee for, for these procedures then? When we started, we, uh, we, we, yeah, we had a case, we've always done uh, for the past several years a case fee. In my area, we have absolutely no, no insurance. A lot of people just don't accept the insurance. Well, I ended up not accepting it just out of, because we don't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and so we just started doing a, a, a case fee. Um, for, for the procedure. And typically, of course, you know, if you do a good co uh, comprehensive neurological exam, most of these patients with knee pain, a large portion are going to have, you know, numbness, tingling in their feet. They're going to have maybe some symptoms of neuropathy. They're going to have some muscle weakness, maybe some nerve weakness. So we'll do a combination of the uh, trigenics. We'll do some laser therapy. Sometimes we'll do some... Uh, uh, other therapies like Rebuilder. We also have a pulsed electromagnetic field therapy, uh, which has been uh, beneficial. And all those therapies are, are helpful, but they are only secondary to the actual trigenics uh, to the knee. Matter of fact, I have a lot of patients that say, listen, doc, I don't want you to do these therapies while they feel good, but the trigenics is what helps me the most. Well, that's great to hear. Now, I remember we spoke previously, and you had mentioned, I, th I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you mentioned that in your first year, you've seen your uh, practice income increase by a few hundred thousand dollars that year? 
I would I would say, and I don't have the exact stats in front of me, but I bet you we were able to increase uh, between two, maybe two fifty, almost three hundred thousand dollars, just by treating people with knee pain. Now we did it because we marketed knee pain with, uh, uh, you know, uh, newspaper, and we had uh, pretty heavy uh, newspaper presence. And then we would do um, some uh, Facebook advertising. But uh, I mean, a lot of it was just uh, old-fashioned referrals. You know, if you help somebody with knee pain, and, uh, and a lot of patients are, will, you know, they want to do surgery on them, but because they have such poor health uh, on so many medications or have weak hearts, you know, the doctor said, I can't do surgery. And then the patient would, you know, this was their only option. So... Referrals, advertising has really made it, uh, you know, really helped uh, add a different niche to our practice. And it's, and I assume it's been continually going up since then too, right? Uh, correct. Yeah, we. Mm. Uh, um, yeah, because what I what I usually try to right now I try to do more niche marketing, and we do peripheral neuropathy, knee pain, uh, plantar fasciitis, and I but I use the uh, Trigenics for. Mostly for knee pain, I do use the trigenic smooths for the plantar fasciitis, um, but the knee pain is by far the, the best. My next goal is to learn the shoulder. Uh, I've taken the class, but I haven't mastered the shoulder uh, yet, but that's my next, my next goal is to, to master that and then add that into my practice. Yeah, the shoulder is a very popular course for sure. Um, I guess just to, to, to finish off here, what would you uh, have to say to any health practitioner that would be considering to take trigenics? What would uh, your advice be to them? It would be the biggest mistake you ever made not to learn how to do the trigenics procedures, uh, as I said, especially to the knee. Because you can do, I mean, your whole purpose should be to change patients' lives. You know, and, and I've been doing this for 38 years. A lot of my friends have already retired and cashed in. But I love, I mean, honestly, Pete, I love getting up every day, still coming to work, and knowing that I can do something to make a difference in those, these patients. It's fun. It is absolutely fun. I, I could tell that uh, from the tone of your voice. That's that's apparent and from the conversations I've had with you before. Wow, that's just amazing to hear all that because, you know, I, I hear it a lot here and just to, just to hear it again and hear the impact that it makes, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, I don't know if you could even add anything to that because that's just amazing hearing hearing your story. Yeah. So it's a wrap. <laughs>